Thank you for reminding me. This heat is really messing with my, how I'm feeling right now. You know, that heat. You know, you just can't think at the moment. You know? It's like, wah. <laughs> but thank you for reminding me. I've been talking to myself for about a minute. How is everyone doing tonight on this fine Saturday? <laughs> we are finishing up Life is Strange True Colors today. Hopefully, I'm already on chapter four out of five. So we've watched the first three chapters of the game so far. And um, yeah, if you missed it all and never watched this before, I do recommend that you going back at some point and watching other two, other three episodes on my other live streams which will be saved in my stream archive. They're there to watch at any time. If you have any free time on your hands, I do appreciate any little support, whether it's watch time, liking the video, or commenting during videos, or just engaging me right now, like you are. Because <laughs> any bit of interaction helps with the algorithm and pushing me through to get more notice. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time with the boring words. Let's get into the story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there'll be scenes of silence, mostly because a lot of there's a lot of DMCA music in the game. So in order to sort myself out and not get legally owned by the legal system, Pike, I got to keep the music out. It's all on this out. USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Mm. Thanks. Talk Uncovering soon. secrets. Citizens of Get your popcorn Citizens out. <laughs> we are live Get your at strawberries the out. It's summer. So strawberries and creams are perfect. Late flower cart and grab a rose uh. before gone. At Haven's inaugural comfy. spring festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. What's a night? Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. <laughs> Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Questioning Maybe. morality. I can decide downstairs. <laughs> I love this game where you can just choose or question your morality. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay. It's basically telling me what I can and can't do. Is there anything of emotional value in this room? Also, it might be a good idea to actually uh, change our clothes for the night. Yeah, can we choose? Each episode has a different set of clothing, which is great. It means you can always diverse yourself. This lion. I got the smooch. We've got to get that USB stick. I can't remember where I left it. Down the bunny chart. Here. Oh! Here we go. It's an almost missed. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... Crush rose. I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. Just for clarification, if you didn't know already, Gabe Looks like the is festival is already in full swing. Alex's brother. I'm pretty nervous. And we play as Alex. 
Where is this memory stick by any chance? It's like, I'm oh. thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. Is it there? I don't know. No idea where this memory stick is. Right. Get down to business. Ah, USB stick. There we go. Okay, time to head downstairs. Gabe's no. I'm about ready to start my own list. Okay, stop. Wow, he's got to apologize to a lot of people. Well, he did have a bard hat. Ah, yes, if you watch last. Bard will ride again. Oh, yeah, we got to play a bard in our mini D&D session. That was fun. Boy, I miss playing this game. I think I haven't played this game for two or three weeks now. I know I was playing it uh, near the end of June. During Pride Month. And if you guys didn't even know about it, I am non-binary now. Check. Check. So Pride Month was Check. my first time to celebrate in non-binary. Holy shit! You so. own a skirt? Oh, she said that out loud on the mic. Hey, guys. <laughs> Happy first spring fest. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I need to apologize to you guys. Oh yeah, and I forgot. What happened in the apartment? I should be wearing my glasses right now. Something really messed me up. By the way, not normal glasses. They are gamer glasses. <laughs> These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte. There here they are. It's the same old story. I lose control and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Gave me glasses. Fuck that. Not even she needs either. to apologize. It's me. It cost me well over a hundred. Ever pounds. since we've met, you've been there for me. And then a when you're the one struggling, foggy though. I bail. Not cool. He fuck on the bit. I might really supply sorry. some actual proper thing spray or something. That'd be no next next investment. For me. Uh, are you a trophy? It's totally fine, but I still owe you a new trophy. <laughs> Let's play for it. Oh yeah. Been all cool about it. That's me or Not to spoil the moment, but Typhon blew up their own mind. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's <laughs> coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Ooh. Oh, Rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Uh -huh. Can't make any promises. All right, let's be a normal person. Text me when it's ready. By the way, but what it means by being a normal person doesn't mean anything to the LGB. If I wanted team to give away a rose, Stephen Ryan that would definitely be on my list. We are character ability. Anyway, time of to enjoy the festival. Empathy, so we're able to feel emotion and also take emotion from other it people. It happened last year. And use it yep. as our I remember it clear as It's day. been a hell of a month, but this. Makes it all worthwhile. That's why it's Jed all loves colorful. this town so much. It's inspiring. Yeah, you can learn some secrets about people, about what they're Probably currently thinking. Probably around 232. 
I even need to talk to him. 234. Diorama. That's cool. Wow. This is a beautiful model. <laughs> but anyway, he comes racing out of the diner. Let's have a beer. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. <laughs> Jetty bean counter. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. Ah, uh, Jelly Bean Lady. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jelly Bean Lady. That's not right. What did she say again? Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Right. This is impossible, right? All right, guess the man of jelly beans win a prize. Thing is, we don't... We can't check it out. Because... It's a shame to ruin the model. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Mm. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is okay. really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Ooh. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly. You know what? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. No problem. I'll just keep counting. Hey, I gotta figure out how to write the number. Maybe I speak to her first. No, you can't speak to her. I've got some time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. He's not gonna give me any information. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get. So then, where's the after party this year? God. After party. I just hope Riley is doing Come all right. On. Oh, Young no. man like yourself, you what must happened know to Riley? what the haps is. New dialogue. Honestly, I'm getting pretty. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Oh, dear. Hey. Doesn't sound that good. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. <laughs> okay. I better get going. There's not much talk going on there. There's something up, that's for sure. Enjoy your night. You too. Bye. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't seen her around. Where is she? I just wanted to take a second to say how wonderful Haven is. Like this always remind me of how lucky I am to call this place home. No other place will ever come close. Smiley face, you're not so bad yourself. Face. Okay. Looks like we're getting down to our last place to Rosie. You haven't had even more special someone yet. Now's your chance. Mm. Okay, there's a lot of messages. So Steph gonna... did a really great job putting all that together. Let's go for the messages. So I've got less to Guess read. the festival started a while ago. Uh, explore the f notes to self. Find the roses. Explore. 
Like I've got some text. This is just like extra stuff if you want to read it, but you don't necessarily need to. That's why I'm rushing for it. Oh, right, he's at a shop. Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop alone. I wonder why. Need dialogue on the. My bad. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. That conversation. No, the conversation for someone else. I better get going. So let's go and talk to the other person. My bad. Okay, we got Steph over here with the music. Hey, Steph. <laughs> Apple bobbin. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people. <laughs> what could go wrong? Must be something hidden. Oh, there's a deflated. Two faced Done. bitch. Hi, Alex. Wanted to wish you a wonderful. She didn't have to work. Ooh, I'm not thinking to meet you. Well, and to the bouncy castle. Or was that from the daytime? Possibly. Maybe. Ooh, kind of mice. This thing has seen a few spring festivals. Ooh, I can react to it. There we go. Uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They mm. say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. Oh, wow. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? Hey, how's it coming? Oh, good. I'd say the chances of starting a fire are low to medium low. Mm, okay. Ooh, jump kit. I'm the drum kit. Woohoo! Yeah! Hey, thanks. Uh, man, <laughs> this show rules. It's, uh, <laughs> it's something. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm Izzy. That's stuff. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Ow. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Good luck, dude. It must be something. I think I'll steer clear of this whole can of jelly beans. I think it's 800. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Yep, he's still counting. And we found our chance to actually do it. Which sucks. Right, let's take a flower. And the poor bastard is so drunk he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So. Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. I love how the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes you feel like a tiny coach. This is <laughs> awesome. Super tiny. 
favorite time of the year, so by far. Listen, and that kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially Heck. for me. I heard the call. <clears throat> And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. Oh, this sneak is so refreshing. So, what now? And I'll say, you know, if I'm you want to, want down. drinking the whole there. hornet's nest. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime. They're the only ones cutting checks in town. Ooh. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? It's <laughs> always flattering to see how much you care about me. <laughs> I'm just a caring no person. No try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> and he's drunk. Everything set. Meet me at stage. Sounds like Take Ryan it easy, is ready dude. for me. I better head back. Let me go leave this area. Any chance? No alcohol beyond this point. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. Oh, new miner. No, mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. Where's Typhon is, is not normal. It's just I made a mistake coming here. Typhon Get is... out while you can, dude. I don't know. Go find that bus station. Grand Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. <sighs> Don't see a lot of people here. All right, I see him now. I'm blind as hell. I have a feeling the station's just around the corner. I have a surprise for you. Wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. There we go. This is what we need to do. We need to come back for this. Make it so hard to do it as well. Hey, Riley. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? Can't tell that woman anything. <laughs> <laughs> My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really going to miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Big moral choice. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? Well, here's a big decision to make. Do I tell about keep tell Riley about Eleanor or keep the confidence? Yeah. Eleanor is so proud of you. All she wants is for you to follow your dreams. Yeah. You're right. I, I, I can't get in between Good luck people. with everything. You know? if, We're rooting for you. If someone doesn't want to tell the truth, then I can't. <laughs> I can't come to the Thanks, conclusion Alex. of telling the right person. Have a great time at the festival. Just like, what does she feel? Oh, I can't feel her. Well, let me... Stay safe, Riley. I hope everything works out. I've already talked to her this way. 
Right, let's head back to the festival. Bit of scenic. Oh, what we got here? I've never missed a spring festival before. Like, ever. Oh, well, you'll catch the first few hours, and there will be other spring festivals. Actually, Nana, I might just wait at the bus stop. Avoid the parade of goodbyes. I'll cover for you. Okay. And I have a bit of an achievement hunt here. So look, find the helmet min... Uh, I missed that one. I missed that one as well. Missed that one. Missed that one. Uh, Polaroid chapter 4. But literally all I need to do is find a camera. That's all. A birthday boy. Didn't expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on, but here we are. I've melted over way less. But the best thing about these games, you can go back and play chapters. Uh, it's easy to go back at any time. I love games like this. You can enjoy your own pace. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Okay, they you. I still I like her so fun. much. What do I do? Damn it. I'm head what over heels for this dork. I what do I do? Uh, let's hey, speak to these um... two. Get a couple. I just wanted to say, you two make a really cute couple. Uh, oh, <laughs> thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Here we go. Being a couple? Yeah. I kind of like it. Suggested oh, relationship. Uh, okay, so does this mean? Do, do you want to um, already? Come go on. out sometime? Yes. There we but go. Just the two of us? Yes. An actual date. <laughs> Devoid of pottery or third wheels. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. There we go. We made the relationship happen. <laughs> okay. Ryan is waiting on me. Yeah, I will go back to the festival. Being reminded. Are you serious right now? Ooh. A boot? A fucking boot on my car? Okay. So One, I can't two, three. I control me. One. Two! Fuck! Hours. I don't control shit! Hey. Oof, sorry, man. We've all been there. You. Too bad I can't you unlock you doors promise. with my emotions. Think you're doing a Whoa, dude. Wow. Oh! You're just a okay, um... Tool for the man. Someone's you're levitating! Machine, you oh, wow. Fuck. Okay. That's... a sight? Hmm. I'd just like to say that beats uh, walking on water for sure. Walking on thin air. <laughs> Let's just follow this person for a moment. They're clearly breaking the, full, the rules of physics altogether. Right there. Hey, love. You're breaking the rules of physics. Hello. You're not paying attention to me. Hello. Okay. Whatever. I'll just save you. So. <laughs> That's safe for use later. Didn't expect that one bit. Do 
Nothing there. Okay. What are you so happy about? Ice cream. Been a while since I've seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That We're ice cream geniuses. Ice cream cake. We run this shit. Keep like flexing, ice cream lady. As soon as we thought of it. As soon as you thought of it. I can't stop thinking about it. Could we do a castle-shaped cake box? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What if we did little swords instead of serving knives? Oh my god. We could do a LARP. Like ourselves. As a promotion. <laughs> Ooh, what if we called our loyalty program experience points? Okay. Stick with me for a minute. <laughs> Full fantasy rebrand. Forget the avalanche thing. Dragons hoard ice cream. I fucking love you. Right wow. fucking back at you. Straight out of the fucking book. <laughs> uh, looks like they've uh, claimed that brand in. Time to sink Don't up the Brian in. before the show. Don't go stealing that brand from them. They, they are so pumps that, you know, they just run you over. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's just a new miner. The rose different. can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elf Thank you, Steph. Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Okay. Right here. Black Beast. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? <laughs> that cat just display info. Ha! <laughs> Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry. Right. Let me get Val. Where's the way? Let's do the rose thing. This is for you. <laughs> Are you serious? Of course I am. <coughs> Dude. Thank you so much. This totally makes my night. <laughs> I'm glad. Hey. Could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Thank you. I'm go get some Ryan. Oh, hey. Carry on the story. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? <laughs> Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss wow. out. I love it. Who else? I did the screen goes to with her guitar. <laughs> Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Um, we've never played together before, and, uh, anyway, sorry if this sucks. <laughs> wow. Playing the negative card at the start. Come on. Eat more pod stick later. Fuck it. Wow. 
By the way, the reason why you can't hear it is because it is copyrighted music, so I'll be putting this on in the background for you. I just don't want to get legally legal action against my account, so I'll put some different music involved. Now, if you want to play for it yourself, you can go back and play it for the actual uh, enjoyment. But I don't want to keep it silent, so play some music to keep it going. It's the only problem about this game. There's some really bad silent moments that really aren't helpful. There's actually a moment where they're listening to the record player and they jump in, jam into the music and all you can hear is them jumping up and down because there's no music there to cover that up. It's hilarious. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little uh, little preemptive music cover up of the silent <laughs> awkwardness, as they say. So I wasn't going to let you sit there in silence watching that. Hey, Charlotte gonna happen here is gonna be a heartfelt moment or oh, is someone gonna get drowned how deep do you think dun 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 the lake <laughs> I mean I don't know I felt horrible this afternoon I didn't know if I could survive that feeling Now, it's like when your leg falls asleep, and even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. Mm -hmm. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply, but maybe this is better. <laughs> you like to sleep. Um, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. So just to give some context on that, I took away her most to see you, Alex. because she the was raging out of control to the point that she was becoming crazy and because she has a son who she's kind of you know, crazy that she wanted to basically protect and uh, become a good mother because she was being bad to him as well. So I took away all that emotion that so that way she didn't lash out too much emotion. And so that's what's left of it. <laughs> and thanks, you're pretty amazing too, you know. Ah, shucks. Hey, come meet me on the rooftop. Sure thing. Cool. Rooftop time. Hey, okay. it rocked. I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Cool. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. I gotta find a birthday boy, birthday boy, a birthday boy. <laughs> yeah, but it's also kind of dangerous. But I should get to the rooftop eventually. That's sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench just to be safe. 
Let me go back to the festival for a minute. Anxious girl, anxious boy. Crap. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? If this is a date, it's a really silent one. I will feel his emotions, see what he's feeling. Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Aw, look at the hang of this one day, or not. Can I interrupt? So... Can we go down there? The Spring Fest is events. pretty cool. Where there is beer, there are builders. Empty can over there. I don't want to miss anything, so have a quick look around. My bad. I think I'll steer clear. My bad. I'm at. I'm at lady. Yeah, I don't it's a very dead. Oh. Time to head up to the rooftop. Ugh. It's going to keep reminding me of that stuff, but generally speaking, I don't have to do it straight away. Do it at my own pace. Yeah. Ah, one, two. Yeah. Mac. Maybe I go. Maybe I don't. I don't know yet. Oh, the cat's meowing. Wanting to get out. The Spring Fest is pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. <laughs> chocolates! God uh, knows why he thought that was the right token of gratitude. And by the way, that but, message. In is, all uh, fairness, I ate the whole damn box. Best I ever had. Hi there. Oh my god. Uh, hi. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> okay. It was a gift. I can't remember. I, I'm, I'm serious. Oh, uh, yeah. sure. Find me later, all right? Awesome. Th thank you so much. That's what it's supposed to say. Some of my bots don't work properly. I don't want to be late for this surprise. Time to head up to the Festival rooftop. Spreads. Base loot. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. Ha! <laughs> There's no graceful way to sample everything on this table. Is there? All right, let's go to the rooftops. There's a number of gifts on there, but you don't have to give me it. It's just there as a, a little simple way of saying, do you know what, if you don't want to support me by subbing to me when I haven't, you have that feature or spending that sort of money you can put towards a bigger gift. The Spring Fest is or a pretty cool, one. but I should probably head up and to the rooftop. Help me that way. Of course, that list will grow over time as we grow. There's new things I want or need, should I say, not want. Need is a better term. <clears throat> and I'll eventually be adding, once I get back from America, some like snacky things that you can also buy for me. That you can support my breakfast and snacky habits whilst creating content. Because being a content creator is definitely hungry. <laughs> Keeps me hungry, that's for sure. It's crown. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. And you coffee machine. Yes. Arrangements. Oh, Dora, there we go. 
Come on, son, get it over with. I, I don't want to get sick. You're gonna feel a whole lot better after you do. Okay. I'm gonna die, Dad. Not tonight, no memory. Not birthday boy. Cut. Although I suspect you're gonna wish you had tomorrow morning. I had a boy. Jed peer presses his son into drinking alcohol. Wow. So we're going to the rooftops. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. <sighs> I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Ooh. Pick one. Right. So the middle of the ocean is the uh, Salem. Mm hmm. Creepy. Ocean. Ah, Berlin. That is the better one to choose. Berlin. Fuck yeah. Bowie recorded Heroes in Berlin, and that record slaps. Where am I gonna live there? Day one, you fall in with the crustiest punks in Berlin. They take you to their squatted warehouse. I start booking bands from all over the world to play our space. Soon, we're internationally famous as a DIY venue. Which attracts <laughs> the attention of the authorities. They surround the place to evict you. So we use our earnings to buy a stack of shipping containers by the river and become even more badass. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. Ooh. To Berlin? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Ooh, this is a tough choice now. Ooh. Do you get to make the choice? Look, That's the big question. I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Here's the question, here we come, okay, oh, I'm just gonna do it. I made a choice. Kiss me, oh, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Jesus, that one <laughs> I lit up the square. <gasps> so beautiful.
You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. Why is she always disappearing? She's like, okay, now I'm gonna disappear. She's always disappearing on me. Such a mysterious woman. <laughs> she suspicious, so so suspicious, so suspicious, so so suspicious, suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying, because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that, but I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. <laughs> uh. Anything supposed to happen, or are we just going to stand in silence? Jury. You've missed all the uh, emotions and enjoyment, all kinds of fun. <laughs> of course, we still haven't finished the game. How are you been? Wait, oh right, I just realised I can actually leave if I want to. I just didn't remember seeing the button. Oops, my bad. It's a, ah, it's just taking a nap, eh? Yeah. You need to be taking those nap in the middle of the day these days. And unless you've got places to be, the heat keeps you quiet. That's why I have to stock up on sneak. Keep myself active. Alex. Hmm? Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Ooh. We in trouble. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Wow. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you 
steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> the order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Look, this is total bullshit. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident, it was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. <laughs> Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. And Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? <clears throat> It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet the uh, it's going to be like, oh, you got to keep all this. Drop everything. <laughs> Typhon won't press any charges. Here is the question. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. <laughs> what, well, a whole cover-up is admissible? I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Every time, every time. Or is he gonna go back for his own deal again? Like I said, it doesn't matter. Oh, I Alex, we had him. Please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No, Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? <laughs> See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Threat evaluation? What the fuck?
Intel show subject as a high level determination and efficiency. Negative protection has position beyond protected bereavement period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. Threat priority number one. What? Investigation summary. Scan for an attack. Notes. You can run close friends Gabriel Jim by the net. Assist in with efforts against properties of history. Or over accident subject as a high level knowledge of both geography and reason. <coughs> Immediate action required threat priority number one two. Steph Ooh. Wow. We're all dangerous apparently. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. <laughs> And as much as I don't want this to get very political, I will I say nothing more than to make this, this happens in real life too, you know. I've learned the not hard just way. video games. So it's not possible. That's all I'm saying on that. They're I'm not going to go into your samples. Too connected, too I'm going to keep it nice and simple. This needs to be in our red cat from because corporate if you want. bureaucracy a is coward. a scum on this earth. But I don't okay. want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. Ooh, that's the question. But Take it's his not fear. just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Sign for risk taking Pike's fear. I'm not. I'm not gonna risk All it this time. All I have time. to do is sign. You know, yeah. that threat is kind of <clears throat> very serious. Next marks the spot. But Can't I don't turn know. back now. Time to sign my soul away. Fuck me. Uh. There we go. I'm going to have to sign it, you know. <laughs> I'm, I've always been too scared of the most outrageous choices in gaming. Thank you, Alex. So, you did the right thing. I'm going for the less risky. I know, <laughs> Grim. I, I, your thoughts are always in my brain. I see, I see that lurk and go. Grim's here. Grim is lurking, and it doesn't bother me. I actually enjoy it because I know that you're always supporting me, Grim. So I appreciate it. I know you're busy on your stream, so don't keep me waiting. Go enjoy your stream. Enjoy Minecraft. <laughs> but I do appreciate the hit up to let me know. As always. Oh yes, it hits me in the feels. You know, it hit me right here a few moments ago where we had a kiss with Steph. And it lit up the whole sky. Full of emotion. <laughs> Alex, come see me when you get the chance, Jed. 
I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. Uh, okay, change your clothes first. It was special for me too, Steph. Sadly, Enjoy the spring stress is over, but the fun scene is out of our screen. Ooh, Josh Hopkins and Julia Crow now in a Maybe relationship. Maybe I should start charging for my services. There we go. That was the two we've got into a relationship. <laughs> Get out of my clothes, get dressed. There we go. Might as well go talk to Jed now. I know we chain. Oh, when that's changed, we've got to wear this. Seriously? Postcards. I guess the night wasn't all bad. It's always a nice call. Cool I feel a bit better. I guess I can go see the boss man now. <laughs> As always, guys, remember. <clears throat> My live streams are not the only hey, content Jen. I have. There is other content I there do. There she make, is. And I do appreciate any of the support on those contents. Even if it's a comment to say, this is what I Something would tells me you've prefer had a more you do. You know? spring I, I like the critical for. feedback as well. You know, if you have any critical feedback, saw please me. tell me anything. And you know, it helps you go, improve apparently. my content and helps me serve you better. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. Mm -mm. I Thanks know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. I've got to tell Jed the truth, though. Man. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? I'm going to take a shot first, though. I need a bit of liquid courage. <sighs> Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? <clears throat> I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. <gasps> Jid knows the truth. <sighs> Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Oh, he's getting intense. Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. 
I'll do one better. <clears throat> I'll show you. Is this gonna be episode five, guys? Interesting. <laughs> far, far ahead. too long. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Why are you sad? What? Um... What was that? Didn't sound friendly. I'm sorry, kid. Jed... What are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off? I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. <laughs> I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. was a shocker ending. Seventy three percent decided to take away the fear from Pike. Interesting. I obviously let my feelings got the better of me. <laughs> wow, most people did choose the Steph Rose. I didn't see it that bomb fight. Or the couch. Hey. Twenty Wow, most people didn't meet on the rooftop. Wow. I like how most people did the kiss though. Okay. Right, it seems there's more than one people can be met on the Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, she felt very detached at the festival. Ah. Oh, like most people actually didn't find Riley at the bus stop. Hey, I got a guy and girlfriends together, though. Boom. And so, guys, that is it for today. Or is it? I am really emotionally trying to get you all worked up over this, you know. Shall we leave it like that? Or shall we get into the final episode now? <laughs> 
<laughs> I know it's going to get everyone, yeah, real cliffhanger, right? But I don't need cliffhangers here. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. <laughs> I can't leave myself on that cliffhanger because I won't be playing the game till after I get back from America. I'm going to go America in seven days, so, you know, got to finish the game. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? <laughs> what do you make of that friction? <sighs> I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Now this is very <laughs> well. This changes what everything. What the fuck? How are you feeling today? Scared? Sad? Lonely? Happy? Is that what I look like? Really? Guitar case. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Knock on wood. <laughs> Who's there? Um, Alex Chen. Never My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. <laughs> huh. Got any emotions to pick off in this room? Okay, family photos next. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg. Oh, wow. That's cool. This is definitely cool. Eight recorder. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. History unfolds. Bye, bit. Bye, Ness. Pass it on. Right. 
Dr. Lin always recorded our... records our sessions. <laughs> hey, is there anything else? As a folder. Alex, check. I guess that's me. Case number. Case number five three three two two. There we go. Mo emotional instability. Occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, which is oral, delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, diagnosis, un. Thrown down a. What? What? Alice experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of disability, she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. Difficult to overlook the irony, sometimes as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolically to speculate that reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. My belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit, a body shattered against each jutting board errant brick, till she is forgotten in darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. Well, it's definitely not written by... Uh, so five, three, three, two. Okay. Five, three, three, two. two. Okay, got that open. And we got the guitar. Okay, so now we've put the guitar up. What do you think is going to happen next now? What do you think? Okay, so we've got to fix it. Right? That's why we've got the tuning peg. Maybe that's her fixing her gum wounds. And this is her trying to get back on her feet, maybe? <laughs> Some kind of moral meaning behind it. God. Wow, that's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood there. Yeah. <laughs> I believe she's still alive after that.
I'm guessing that's the end of the game, right? She's dead. <laughs> Falling down the hole. Further down the hole. How are we? Psst. Alex. Gabe. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. <laughs> so? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. It's the chair. It's dark. Thank you for subscribing. And it actually works. Oh. Hello. It actually Go works. Check on your mother. <laughs> okay. And yes, you are sweet like cookies if you are here, Doc. Thank you so much for the subscribe. We have officially bursted off the 200 subscribe mark. I'm so happy. She was <laughs> right over there. Oh. Waiting for me. Ah, it's dark. Thank you. I'm enjoying this game. I do appreciate it. We're slowly going towards that goal of monetization. Oh, it's totally fine. You know, as I already told you and probably many other people before, whether that be in Twitter or at the stream, that, you know, it doesn't matter when you subscribe to me. I'm telling you guys that I am reaching my goals. I am going past my goals and actually progressing on my journey. <laughs> so, you know, I appreciate it. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got scary some news. scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom, are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be different for a little while. But I am going to be okay. We spent so much time in oh. here that I basically memorized every article. One second, guys. Looks like one of my cam <laughs> lighting equipment turned off. I need to double check that quickly. Looks like one of my lights just turned off. Okay, I'll just have to make do with what I got. We spent so much time in this room. Sorry about that. Mom's bed was at the far end. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. It's a empty bed. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky. I guess. Painting. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. <laughs> that really did suck. Right. Oh, TV. Even I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. 
Okay. So, where to now? Bam, maybe? It was always too hot in this room. Like it is right now, right? <laughs> it is hot, hot, hot. Right. Here we go. Maybe I just need to increase the voltage a little bit charge better. Hmm. I think I've got a way to fix it. Of course, it will still need to charge for a bit longer. It's just annoying me because now I've got a flickering screen on me. I hope it's not too much of a problem, guys. I really apologize for the poor quality of an hour on my face. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's Jeez. something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Right. I know, I've already gone once. I will be right back again. I'm trying to fix that. It's annoying me. Dad wanted me to check on Mom. Fingers crossed. That will help charge it faster. I won't turn it on now, just in case it dies again. But for the moment, I hope you're okay with putting up with my darker face. I'll try my best. Let's speak to the mum. Hi, mom. <coughs> mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Okay, so round circle. Right. Wait. Did I miss something? You changed in this room, maybe now? The mom's kids. She knew. Even then, she knew. No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. All to the fan, magazine to medical work. Empty bed, TV, fan. Speaking Hi, of, do something different. 
They're going to be the same thing over and over again. Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Okay, the water. Yes, the water. Take the water. Speak the water. Thank Let's get hydrate everyone. Make sure you are drinking enough water. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already? So strong. Heartfelt moment. Yes, and these are the final moments of gave us. No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. We've got, we've got to be the strong one. Will you do that, Alex? No, Alex is the younger one. Family. <laughs> that bird on there. Wow. Get out. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? I didn't even know if it was a bird or not, I just saw a vapory sign. <laughs> Sadness being spread out there. Now we've got static TV. Is where are we now? Where's this TV? Okay. We still in some kind of room. That family home, maybe. Chaos. It's definitely the family home. Family. There we are on the phones. Is that Teddy? <laughs> Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I think so. Do you miss her?
Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. Okay, we're reliving family moments. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. They're arguing. Okay. Everybody's got a piece together. Past events that happened. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. Let me put some music on in the background so you give it the emphasis of that she's not listening and she's listening to music instead. That's not how it went down, right? <laughs> Dances to the music. I'm improvising here because it's all copyright music, as so uh, yeah. So you have to listen to it one time through. I think this time we actually did think about the situation. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did, Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Anything in this room that I can uh, get some shoes off of? I know. Kind of. Easy way of getting achievements, but ah, there we go. Right at the back. New memory. Hey, Gabe. I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh, gosh. You know what? We were. Yeah, that, that was like uh, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school, and my dad, like, he was, um, helping me learn my lines. Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there. Okay? I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. It's a crime. I can't believe they were ever this happy. We got upstairs new. Sources. We never really touched these after mom died. She was such a good cook. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. <laughs> Almost empty. Almost always. Oh, God. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. 
Oh, the cookie. I gotta find butter cookies in America. That just reminded me. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Lucky cat. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. Gabe loved book. Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. Son of Lead. The killer but. mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Shoo shoo. Laundry. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. Go, shoo, At shoo. least I managed to hold on to you, Shoo Shoo. Okay, I'm guessing we're going. Open the door now. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad. I'm sorry. Ow. No. Uh, no. No. Dad! I know, right? <laughs> oh, it's flowers. It's flowers. Emotional moments. She can't be back in the mic, that's for sure. But she's not her. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. 
So I can't do this. I think okay? my understanding I... of this is I can't. They're acting like children because they are children, to... but they didn't no. show that you children need to be characters honest about what you see. I was because I they're have. reenacting it. So and they're just I'm showing done. us the models of the characters now. Almost. But from their childhood but past. And you were 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. Oh, well, Gabe is pretty much telling us what is that. You've seen them all. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Giving us a journey of our emotions and what Your went own down. emotions don't belong to you. There we go. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Box. Play your part. Play my part. As the dad. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. Rose? I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz, fuck you. <laughs> Barred windows in an orphanage. They used what? to say this place wasn't a prison. Wow. Or maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. God. Adventure. They put me on so many meds. Chen uh, Alex, I am pretty so. I, I don't know how to Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. We weren't allowed... We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. Motivational post. Guess I missed a few days. Happiness is a choice you make every day. Shoo shoo! That's shoo shoo again. Are you again. holding up, shoo? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. You got guitar strings. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Hey, Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that. Everyone's feelings were so loud. I just needed something to distract me. Okay, we've got basketball. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. I was you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? E.T. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh... Something We're never like getting out of this fucking You place. were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Nice outfit. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kinda think you already know the answer to that question. Yeah. 
didn't help at all because obviously we didn't have Buster Pants. <laughs> and I think that leaves us with just a bit of them. So before we do the Foot Locker, we are going to get some strawberries. <laughs> and I'll be back. You're going to have to wait a little longer. But I'll leave you some music to enjoy it. Gone.
All right, guys, I'm back. Let's see if I can fix that button. Should be up. I guess I've got to take a seat. Let me Face just double music. check to make sure it's got a good amount of time left. Yeah, it's got about two hours on it. Fine by me. And yes, I did get my strawberry. Look at those strawberries and cream. Mm. Let's carry on. Let's enjoy these strawberries and cream. People staring in the windows. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? Oh gosh. I wonder why she's never found a home before. No wonder she found a home. She didn't find a home. All the parents' faults were and the fact that she could feel their faults and emotions. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do. Well, here's the thing. They didn't say it out loud. Something... This is what they're saying in their heads, in their emotions, Broken. in their heads. And well, she's basically feeding so all of that from them. She's getting that vibe off you. <laughs> to the point, she just breaks. Uh, guessing. I reckon this happens quite a lot. Not to the extent that, you know, they're emotionally damaged and have emotional powers like this, but, you know, definitely to the breaking point of, I can't do this no more in the social system. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why? You need to see it. I do See think what? this game not only that nobody picked me. Basically, nobody picked it, you. They do a really good job of just highlighting a lot of important issues in society: corruption. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Education system. Mom died. No. Dad left. I bailed. Fostering the system. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job. Emotional to turmoil. You were eleven years Bereavement. old. So much. You were a LGBT, years old. of course. You were a kid, Alex. How can I forget that? Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But that but don't give what up. makes human us human, right? No one gets to tell you what you're worth. Yeah, and we're no human because take we have your life away. Fight. And when the going gets tough, you know, I'm not learn sure. To I... fight you have it. a gift. You can't just hobble away and go right. There's life's something over. you don't even understand. Because it never is, you know. You can change. Life's the world. over only if you choose to make. That is your make choice. It There's always a choice. Now get up. Even when you hit rock bottom. What? Get up and fight.
It's when we wake up again. Oh gosh. How can I forget? I don't know if I can eat any more strawberries and cream right now, seeing that sign. It's putting me off my food all that blood. It smells like dried seaweed. By the way, yes, I did have dried. I didn't <laughs> do something to my beard. I did eat dried seaweed today, so yeah, that's why it smells like dried seaweed. <laughs> but it's tasty and salty, though. Just for your records, wondering what it tastes like. Ucat Cafe. I was expecting to see a cat hanging on there going, Hang in there. <laughs> uh, the irony, right? Oh, well, the matchsticks just. Um, gotta be out to sea in this dark mine. Let's get out. I do have to question is okay there's a lamp there that still has enough gas in it to take you through the mines how convenient is that it wouldn't happen in real life right of course we do have phones you know that we use as lamp lights as well but if you fell that way you may have broke your phone so yeah in real life situations, you may not come out. I've got so to lucky. find a way out of here. Frickin' ladder. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Yeah. He's going this way. An old dead rat. Oh. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. Ah, what is inside? I <coughs> choose not to put <coughs> anything into this. <clears throat> I hope it didn't die from toxic gas or anything like that. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Safety first. How long has this stuff been down here? There we go. Gosh. Big empty space. Very eerie. No, 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 come on, no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. See much. At me now, though. I'm starting to see so. Okay, that's something. <sighs> Maybe we're just seeing the daylight. That or no worries, Judy. I appreciate you sitting here and enjoying my content or lurking or whatever. Partner wants to make blonde. Oh, blondies! Oh my god! Are you trying to steal my heart right now? <laughs> right now, oh my god, blondies! Ooh. 
Tasty. Right, that's not... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Food is always good. Right now, looking at my screen, I can't see as much as my OBS, my OBS can actually see. All right, boys, getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Oh my God. God damn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Is this place steady goes steady fuck was move come on clear the tunnel who's on radio jed fuck jed jed oh my god we got to move now there's still men back there they'll drown yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. Here we go. Can't really see much. It smells but... like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Jed's killed his father. Jed, yep, you killed their stop, father. Man. Jed! Fuck you, Jed! Come back! It's over, Jed. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But. So. Typhon killed her whole family. First her dad, then her brother. Wow, she's out of the mines. She made it. Thing is, I don't understand. Did should I take those now? She taking down the sign, maybe. Hold our chests, but not much is coming out. Maybe did she get grazed by the bullet when she fell? If it was more serious. And during my time here, 
I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. I can't wait to see what's going to happen It's been my reaction. privilege to renew oh. Typhon's commitment to Haven. I can't wait to we see the excitement in this community, what's going to happen in a minute. And we're tremendously excited for its future. I reckon she's going to walk in any moment now. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Yes, here we go. Alex, oh my God. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Ask Jed. That's what I want. Ask Jed. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <laughs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was... Obviously, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Uh, but we legal, all legal, sympathize legal. with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort Corporate and bollocks. <laughs> make your life seem less unfair. That's what I say.
Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. <sighs> All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. On point. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. Yay, at least got Steph on our side. <laughs> I'm not the monster, and here you are. <laughs> I would like to speak. I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. Oh my god, Ducky. Open your eyes. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Ah. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Now. Lake, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. So helping these people and tr getting them to trust you has been the most important part of the Charlotte. situation. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. <laughs> I can't help you. I'm sorry. But the decisions you make throughout the whole story affects the outcome of the story. How about you? I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. Alex, just... just give it up. You coward. <clears throat> You believe me, right? Ryan? Why are you doing this? I don't know against me now. 
My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? <clears throat> I thought we were in this together for Gabe. It turns out the rabbit hole goes deeper no. than your first fault, mate. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex can't go down that hole died. and go, not go all the way down, mate. It's not true. You can't come out of it. <laughs> fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. <laughs> Emotions time. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. <clears throat> he made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. Ooh, or keeps changing. And then Gabe, my big brother. Haven was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. <clears throat> Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. I play to his emotions here. <laughs> and you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You're coming to a sudden realization. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. <clears throat> you tell yourself you're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Such a good generous man but that's the lie if you scrape it away what do we see 
<sighs> Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye, but you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. Yep, 11 men. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're going to break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. <coughs> you hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. Ow. Hate behind those eyes. Easy. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. I'm going to play the... And I forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him to his knees. I mean, it's over yet, though. But it's definitely not what I expected. <sighs> Gosh, look at those faces. And the news is still coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Wow, what a throw. <laughs> and it looks like we screwed yeah, over Typhon. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. Okay. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Ooh, got some phone call text messages. Right. Ratches, eh? They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil and these. Say anything. Oh, emotional value. Right here. Well, I'm gonna check you. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chad? John, and no. But I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. Emotional. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? 
go, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. I'm glad he held on to it for whatever it's worth. He told me to destroy this jacket off the accident. I couldn't do it. Perhaps some part of me knew that with one day needs deposit it along when he gave her a step in the bar looking for his father. I swore I would one day return this jacket to him. Then that was the. I would return it to the both of you. I think you know by now what my word is worth. I did not deserve your forgiveness, but it moved me more than I knew was possible. I hope this gift will provide some small comfort to you for days ahead. Feels like I've been through so much with Eleanor. It meant the world that she believed me. Must be rare that a Scandal. local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. Now, but not broken. Even we'll survive. Got chipmunk. Hard to blame Ducky for remaining loyal to his best friend. It still hurt, though. Pendants. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Right. Quickly, let's see. I have a feeling everything I missed. Yep. Cool. Ah, oh, you can lie down again if you want. Can't change your outfit, damn it. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. <laughs> Thrown out of window. Go upstairs. Ooh. Someone at the door. Hey, Unexpected. stuff. Alex, Steph. wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <gasps> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here too. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? No words can describe, I guess. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. Oof, I'm swimming right now. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Dev. That was nice. There's usually a lot to end the story, so I reckon there's going to be a lot more story still. Just to finish it up. And now I guess we reminisce over what had just happened. Alright. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? <sighs> the night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, 
That was before all this shit went down. <laughs> Come on. You're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, and despite what happened at the vote, people that actually care about you. Why would you give that up? That's true. I reckon we're going to make the final decision to leave us stay. And I think. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Sorry. Obviously, this is all in our heads because the truth is, Gabe is dead and he's not really there. <laughs> but here's something. That's a nice little thing. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. It's enough way to think there, right? You get a job working with Steph at the record store. <laughs> I, uh, they listen to copyrighted music here, guys. Just so you know. And because there's a lot of talking in All the All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. I don't want off. to... Uh, Put the music in. And little by little, time does its thing. <laughs> so. What a cool little way. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cougar in the area. <laughs> uh, it's quirky little things, say. Eh? Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon. Even of me, begin to fade into the background. Guns. I wonder what that music's in the back. Everything's changed. Yeah. I won't sing anymore in case there's copyright <laughs> singing it. Dice. Hey, they're playing D and D. That's all. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. 
<laughs> Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. Pretty awesome. Nice. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the oh. most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't Haven question Fools. it. You don't doubt it. Haven Springs. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a <coughs> long time, you just live. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment, so I'm trying to be. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? <laughs> Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? <gasps> oh my god! Seek eventual state haven! Oh my god, seriously? It would have been so much better if you made certain decisions that it makes it for you. That would have been... Do I make Steph happy or me happy? Yeah. Staying in one place after transforming it. Oh, this is the hardest decision in my life. I know it's a video game, but you know, I'm only gonna do this once, so. This is the hardest decision in my life. <laughs> and it's a video game. Wow. Stay in Haven, and all that stuff that happens will probably most likely happen. Or I seek adventure. Seek the unknown. Do you know what? Adventure. I know what I want. adventure at the end of the day Steph will go wherever I go right so there's a lot of people hurting and they may not be able to you know, forgive us straight away maybe leaving will be a good thing Steph too. Very bus America. <laughs> mm. 
There we go. We left. That's our story. <laughs> Here we go. Nerves. Or the force. Right, what's Steph saying? Fuck him up, babe. <laughs> There's no notes to self, okay. Do you need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Yeah, that's tough. That's me. I've got some continued support for you. Use the recent events, let it remain closed. Or... The oh, phrase that. recent events is doing some work in this post. <laughs> State it never ends. In a statement regarding an ongoing investigation in Haven Springs, we appreciate the community's concerns. <gasps> Ooh. Pike has been. I'm so sorry I worried you all. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Offer. <laughs> no, at least Mac has some respect. Ooh. Jessica. Those are the memories. Miss one memory from Jed's. There. So I've got every memory apart from one. Miss one. Memory missed. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. yes, it's still going right at the ends now, Julie. We're literally the last. This is like the ends credit sort of thing. This is like what happens after the story. When we made our decision to leave, of course. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. <sighs> We're not going to hear the song. The only promise is the adventure. There we go. 
the credits. Okay. Let's put on some music while I go through the credits. I'll spin it up to make it easier. <laughs> Jamming it up in the house. Ooh, what a game, eh? <sighs> I'd just like to remind everyone who has enjoyed the stream today. Please, if you can, subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know, it's free of charge. I don't ask any money here for subscribing. It's just a button away. If you enjoy my content, of course, I'm not expecting anyone to do it out of complete. No, I'm not, I'm not forcing anyone. Seriously. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. That's simple. Just I appreciate any free support in any way. Liking on this video can help do. And also commenting on any video stream after it's finished in the VODs is also very helpful. I'm just trying to get through the credits to see if there's any after credits. Some games like to throw in extra credits. So apologies if this taken taken really long. Doing my best. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I'm glad I got to finish the game. Wait. Oh, I missed the last little bit. Uh, what did it say then? I can think about thanking. Thanks for playing. <laughs> there we go. Alex hit the road to play music. Only 44% of people said that. Wait, I'll turn it down a bit more so you can hear me easier. Hope you can hear me still. And it's forgave. Ooh, 70% of people forgave. I'm at least not the unpopular choice though. Glad I'm not the unpopular choice. Yes. It looks like I've been choosing the most popular choices so far. Next didn't seem right after the vote. Some members of the council stood with Alex. Yeah, a lot of people turned their back. Ooh, yeah. Lots of 69 percent here. Giggity. <laughs> Steph and Alex leave Haven together. I told Alex to give it up. And there we go. Those are the stats. Back it up now. So what are your thoughts? Now, if anyone is still there in chat, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the game or what you've seen so far. Now, if you've missed some of the game, I do recommend going back and watching the VODs. Now, I've got two free live streams full of Life is Strange content. Of course, there's another story. There's a Steph story as well. I could buy that, but not at the moment. Obviously, see, you can go by chapters as well and replace certain areas just to get the click to what I need, which is cool. But I'm going to leave that for doing Austrian. I won't do that on the stream because, you know, we've completed the game, completed the story, the most interesting part. I don't want to keep you and bore you my achievement antics. I got other videos for that. <laughs> and of course, if you enjoy those videos, I do recommend watching them, liking them. Even if you don't use them, you know, you may help grow the content and get them out to the right people.
but now I'm going to say goodnight to everyone. No, it's getting late. I've got work in the morning. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad we finished this game because it means we can move on to a new game next week. Guys, I tell you, if you love cats, you're going to love this game. <laughs> we'll be playing Shrey next week. I know it's a few days after the launch of the game, but this is the only day I can fit in before I go away on the holiday. Because I've got a lot to do, like make videos, go to work for a few more days, pack the bags, eat the rest of my cookies, because I still have a lot of American cookies to eat. <laughs> before I go away and buy more, right? So yeah, I've got a lot to do. So thank you so much for all the support tonight. Everyone idly supporting me. Uh, whether you've been active or quiet, I love you all the same. I'm not going to say who, because at the end of the day, all support is worthy support, and I appreciate all of it. We'll be live another two streams next week. On Thursday for the Forza stream, and then on Saturday again for Stray, of course. The cat game, where you can play as a cat. Enough said. I love being a cat. <laughs> I will be putting up the schedule on Twitter on Monday when I am not working so I have time to actually make the make the actual uh, the picture itself or image whatever you want to call that but yeah I won't waste any more of your time I'll have a good night everyone and I will ask if you are still looking to support someone, we do have a Grim who's still there. So, yeah. There is his link. He's currently playing Minecraft Dungeons and he's got about an hour left. So I appreciate it. If you do looking for another place to go, I do appreciate you could go on over there. You know, show the support. Tell them who we sent you. You know, they... You know we come from then we hope to support you as well you know if you want to I'm not forcing you to it's just you know we'll all YouTubes will support each other here you know we don't we're not here to uh, be against each other we work together we can all grow together and uh, and some money while doing it yeah good night guys